video we're going to focus on two more rules of circle theorems the first rule is that angles in the segment sorry angles in the same segment are equal it's also known as the bow tie rule that's because of the way the angles look when you actually look at them so you'll notice the little note down here on the side showing you the difference between a major and a minor segment let's get on with the actual rule itself so here's an angle that's been drawn and another angle that's been drawn from the same points. Now what you'll notice is that it says angles in the same segment are equal. So when we look at this as, so when we look at this angle, it says it's 34 degrees. That means the other angle, which is also in the same segment and drawn from the same points, is also going to be 34 because the rule states that angles in the same segment are equal. If this angle is 12, then the other angle is also going to be 12 since they are in the same segment. Now, how do we establish where the segment is to start off with? Well, there's the line because when you look back at where the angle was drawn from, you realize it was drawn in this way, okay? And then this angle was also drawn from the same points. So we draw a line across that and look at the diagram at the bottom. Okay, this is the, is the minor segment because it's smaller than the other side. So this is the major segment and all of these angles are in the same segment. So therefore they are going to be equal. So if I was to draw another one from the same points, let's say if I was to draw another angle like this, and it was going back down like that, that would also be 34 degrees since it's in the same segment. So as you can see there, it's telling you that this is the minor segment and that is the major segment. Let's have a look at another example. So, look at where the angle is drawn from, okay? These are the points that the angle starts and ends. So I'm just going to draw it in now. Should be a straight line, but I'm sure we can make do. Okay, so the angle has been extended from those two points. Another angle in the same segment, so this is the minor and this is the major, has been extended from the same points. If one of the angles is 23, the other one should also be 23. Uh, and if similarly here, if one of them is 51, the other angle is going to be 51. Now you might be thinking, where on earth did the 51s come from? Well, if you're saying that we can draw a line like this and call this the minor segment and that the major segment, well, what's to stop us from drawing a line on this side and calling this the minor segment and the other one the major segment it's just reversed itself okay so if it's extending from the same points like this one that 51 is extended from the same points and this also extends from the same points then that 51 and that 51 are almost the same as this 23 and 23 just rotated around so it still makes sense to do it in that way Let's have a look at another example. So it's been extended from there and the other angle has also been extended from there. So we've got 65 and 21 and because they're in the same segment, they're also going to be 65 and 21.